In this demonstration, we'll explore how the region of a null hypothesis, created when an element is not found, influences the search for other elements that are dependent on that element, which we call dependent elements. In this example document, the keyword address element, which needs to locate the text string delivery address, here, has not been found. You can see the yellow rectangle encompassing the entire page. This displays the region of the keyword address's null hypothesis. And the reason the keyword address was null is that we purposefully used invalid search text. In this case, the text was entered as any random text. And that phrase is not printed on the document. And we have the address field, which has been detected incorrectly, here. However, upon closer inspection of the search conditions of the address field, you can see these search conditions, right of left of the keyword address field with a small offset to enlarge the search area, below the keyword address field, and left of right with a 20 dot offset. That should create a search area below the keyword and aligning along the same vertical line. Despite these relations, when we click match, we see that the address field is detected somewhere in the middle of the page. The search area is indicated in green and it equals the whole page rectangle. The dependent address field has been found incorrectly because the keyword address formed a null hypothesis and this has an invalid region, which in this case is the whole page. The region of any null hypothesis always equals its entire search area because nothing was detected. Now, the dependent address field's search area inherited the keyword address's search area, the whole page. Let's limit the keywords region to further explore how this works. Let's say that the keyword address field is located at the upper left corner of the page. We can use Flexi Layout language to specify this search area. So, left of page rectangle dot x center divided by two limits the search area to a quarter of the page width. Above the page rect dot y center divided by two limits the search area to a quarter of the page height. Let's match and see the created search area. Here it is, exactly in the upper left corner of the page. The keyword address field remains not found because it cannot be found with the provided conditions, that is, using the invalid search text, any random text. However, the dependent address field is detected incorrectly within the search area of the keyword address field. Note the green search area includes the entire region of the reference element. If in your production projects, there are elements dependent on a null hypothesis, you might end up with a total mess of a search algorithm. To avoid such errors, which could happen for a variety of reasons, including image quality, always use the don't find if condition. This is the single most important flexi layout language tip you can be given. So here we go. If keyword address is null, then don't find. Let's match. Now, the dependent element has not been found along with the reference element, as opposed to being detected incorrectly, which may lead to breaking the detection logic for the subsequent elements in the tree. Now, let's back up and fix the keyword address element's search conditions, providing the correct text to detect the keyword. Here we go. The humble but powerful don't find if condition will save you a lot of time and debugging effort when one of the reference elements isn't found, thus forming a null hypothesis.